Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. It's craziness um, what happens right now in the Middle East and what the US military is doing over there is really against any, as they like to say it, rule-based international order. I don't understand how simply these guys bomb and then what the Americans anywhere they want anyway anywhere they want and they know that there will be no major repercussions because they will not hit China India Brazil uh, South Africa Russia obviously Israel um, countries like this they will not touch but little groups little countries that cannot really hurt the United States of America, the Americans are hitting. Just take the Middle East. The United States hit inside Syria, hit inside Iraq, hit inside Yemen, hit today, or yesterday was it, inside uh, uh, Somalia. Where else do they need to hit? Uh, they're going to hit if they want in Lebanon. They will hit in Iran. Little by little, they will get closer. They could uh, hit in Jordan. They can hit wherever they want. What is going on? How can you hit militarily, attack, bombard a so-called sovereign, independent country? These are countries that are recognized by the United Nations. How can you just hit whenever you got hit, your military got hit inside the country? that you don't own. When Americans want, they hit in Somalia. Because they were asked by... They hit in Yemen. Or because we were attacked in self-defense. They hit in Syria. We were attacked in self-defense. They hit now in Iraq. We were attacked in self-defense. How is this possible and why the good is always attacked? And the good is the biggest one. They can smack everybody around. Have you ever have we ever seen this in real life when the guys again get destroyed, go and challenge the strongest, knowing that they will get destroyed? No, you avoid that guy. The bully, that's why the bully is the strongest guy. He's gonna push everybody around and he gets challenged by that guy. Oh and the bully is this is the, the word, and please remember it. Always, which is an impossibility a victim always attacked by others and always he's the good i mean where is this going where is this going is it an understanding between the russians and the chinese and the americans is it what not the europeans the europeans will be kicked out is an understanding between these three countries all right let me show you this article I'm, not, I'm going to explain why it's an understanding, or I think it's an understanding. Russia Today, January 24th, 2024. U.S. launches new round of airstrikes in Iraq. How? We were attacked. Why don't you get the fuck home? Uh, the Iraqi government wants us here. Why? Uh, because it's too much freedom and democracy. You destabilize the country in such a way that you have to be over there always and forever. And by the way, who gets the oil? The Russians? The Europeans? Who gets the oil? That's why I don't subscribe to these guys' narrative. We are the good and they are the bad. Washington has targeted Iranian-backed militias in response to attacks that injured American troops. This is what the Americans, the always victims, the bully, the guy, the Al Capone, always is attacked and always smacks whomever they want. Regardless, regardless, if, if the Americans want tomorrow to hit Romania, they will find a group over there they claim is a terrorist group. And they will say, we've been uh, you know, threatened by these guys. Or they can make up something, like the Gulf of Tonkin. In what, 1964, was it? 64, I think it was, 64, 64, 65. Go and read about that lie. The U.S. military announced, we announced, 
So we announced, we, basically, we told the truth. We told you what happened. You're not going to see the other side. You, in the Western countries, in the free world, you will not hear the other side unless you look deeper into an obscure uh, outlet that is a local outlet that is considered not trustworthy by the corporate media. And because that communicates or broadcasts this much, not trustworthy. Like people like me and pe you know, people like me. Oh, he's only this. Oh, he's, on he's just this. He's just that. And it's not CNN. Yeah, but CNN lies more. <laughs> has a bigger platform to lie. That's the whole thing. And then you say, oh my God, look at that guy. I should believe that guy because he has a bigger platform. Yeah, but he's not telling the truth. American uh, military announced that it has carried out proportionate airstrike against Iranian-backed militia in Iraq to retaliate, self-defense, for recent attacks on American bases in the region. If you say, yeah, because they attacked us, my next question is, why are you not fucking on your uh, continent? You can't say anything else because you invaded that country on a lie. You. You went over there. So however you turn it, you have to go chronologically and from the first, from the beginning of the issue. Don't tell me about weapons of mass destruction or gassing his own people with our, with our, um, how do you call, uh, chemical weapons. We provided them, so he, they gassed the Iranians. Remember the fight, the war between the Iran and Iraq? Whose side were we? Saddam's. And the Western countries provided Saddam with chemical weapons. Did you know that? They tell you half truth or straight lies. The latest yeah, retaliate recent attacks on American bases in the region, in California or where? Florida. The latest airstrikes targeted Papa, Pipi Poop, and affiliated Trabalab. The strikes, this is what, that, what this side says, not the other one, you're not going to hear the other side. The strike were aimed at Katabi Papapap head, headquarters in Iraq, as well as storage and training facilities, they say, and were intended to degrade the group's ability to mount drone and missile attacks, they say. And I'm quoting, today, at President Biden's direction, he doesn't fucking even know what day of the week is. U.S. military forces conducted necessary and necessary, because they say so and proportionate <laughs> strikes on those facilities used by the Iranian-backed Papapapipipi militia groups. They tell us that. D can you verify that? Yeah, you need half of life to verify. And other Iran-affiliated groups in Iraq. Okay, U.S. Defense Lloyd Austin said in a statement, Lloyd Austin, you are sick, my boy. Why don't you retire? You're sick, unfortunately. You are sick. You're ill. Why don't you retire? No. No, power is sweeter than pain, right? Coming from those disprecision strikes, they say, and I guarantee you no civilian was killed, are in direct response, direct response, self-defense of series of escalatory attacks against U.S. and coalition, coalition in Iraq and Syria by Iranian sponsors, sponsor, blah, blah, blah. Now, if they say that these guys are an alliance, remember, alliances could be good between good or the bad, or mostly good and mostly bad. It was not like good and bad. That's, you know, childish uh, mentality. But the, when they say uh, coalition, coalition, they try to gain legitimacy. It's the same pack of wolves who rob everybody else. The same guys. You don't hear about a coalition from, I don't know, Africa, do do or Asia coalition attacking or um, hitting. No, just these guys. And it's always the same guys, the same. U.S., Great Britain, maybe France, Australia dragged in, Poland now is go over there sucking a dick, and so on. These are the, the same guys. They want to be important, some of them, but they're vassal states. And then when they get fucked, they say, we were in self-defense, we're going to hit back. Go to the, with the chronology of events from the way it started? No, because they know the truth uh, will reveal something that is against their narrative. Austin said he and Biden will not hesitate, they will not hesitate, to take necessary action to defend U.S. forces that are illegally deployed in Syria and their allies in the region. We do not seek to escalate conflict. You just hit everybody over there. United States of America hit everybody over there. 
Syria, Iraq, Yemen, Somalia, it's gonna be Iran, it's gonna be probably Lebanon. That's all right, it's right. The, the US's bosses hit Lebanon. Jordan, probably the, the US's bosses will hit uh, Jordan and so on. Unbelievable. Man. And you tell me about, uh, not you, these guys, oh yeah, we're fighting. Well, we call on these groups and their Iranian sponsors to immediately cease these attacks. And they call on you to get the fuck home. How about that one? <laughs> what are you talking about? Iraq's government condemned a previous round of US strikes against Kataib Hezbollah last month, calling them an unacceptable violation of Iraq's sovereignty. Look up at there. Even if that was just, just for show, because they're paid. You know, they're in the pockets of these guys. The US airstrikes in December killed one of member of Baghdad security forces blah, 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 and injured 18 people, including civilians, according to Iraqi Prime Minister Office. Including the Iraqi Prime Minister's Office reported, not the Americans. Americans, they did precision strikes. Where are those precision strikes right here? Those strikes, and somewhere here was precision. Rockets and missiles were fired at bases. All right, precision strikes right there, man. That means nobody died, not even the Chinese from the uh, Belgrade Consulate. Makes me vomit, man. Makes me vomit. And if you don't, you're not enough, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, happy about it, then they uh, retaliate and you got Im imbeciles call you names and trying to fire you or hurt your personal life. Why? Ah, this is criminal. But hey, who's next? Who's next? They already shot in what? Four countries. Four countries. Sovereign independent countries at United Nations. Listed over there. And you tell me Russia attack Ukraine? And am I supposed to cry for that now? Where they tell me, oh, Russia invented unprovoked, which is garbage. Uh, Ukraine, uh, we don't have anything to do with that. And you hit four countries, pack, 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 because you're attacked. Just take Syria. You illegally occupied a sovereign country. What the fuck are you talking about? And you talk about Russia? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. If, if you have a pretense <clears throat> of being virtuous, and they always have, they, they are the most virtuous. <clears throat> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.